Hey, what's up guys? Ivan here with GetIvan.com. And in this video, we're going to be going over how to scrape for WooCommerce footprints so that you can find URLs that are explicitly uh, for WooCommerce stores. And then you can take those URLs and perform all kinds of activities with a variety of scrape box tools. You can scrape the emails, you can scrape the phone numbers. Um, you can maybe do contact form submission, perhaps. I don't know. Um, but I had an order for that recently. I've been uh, recently fulfilling um, a couple of, uh, of Shopify footprint, uh, e-commerce footprint orders. And I finally had a request for WooCommerce. I have a short list somewhere here. I made a list of, of e-commerce footprints and I'm sort of planning to slowly go through those footprints. But for the sake of this example, let's go ahead and go through WooCommerce. Uh, you can see here's a Shopify footprint that I note, or Shopify and WooCommerce footprint that I notated here. And th this is the basic footprint. So you need to make sure you write this down, guys, um, or type it out somewhere in a notepad. It's just forward slash plugins, forward slash WooCommerce, forward slash. That's, that footprint is in, you know, to my understanding, pretty much every uh, WooCommerce asset. So let's grab a keyword also. And, um, and then we'll do a brief test here. So let's grab a big niche. Uh, do we want to do all these? Let's let's just do toys. Let's just do toys. Um, and do, 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 do I need to do them sequentially? I'm asking. My, no, I don't, I don't need to do them sequentially because I don't have a bunch of variations. I'll just do them all in one single row. So this is kind of how I've been doing it. I like to do the the the, uh, the keyword next to the location. So we got the we've got the footprint up here. Now this I know this seems ridiculous, but don't worry. We're going to do a second phase where we confirm the footprint is on the page. This right here is just to help us get it in the search and en search engine result. Okay. So I like to do this thing here, and then the keyword, and then locations, which might sound bizarre, but I've done a test and confirmed that locations do significantly expand your sample. So I'm going to go ahead and do 30 lo 30 uh, results. And we're going to start harvesting. We'll go from Bing here, and we're. I don't. I'm not going to let it go all the way. Maybe just like a few thousand results or something. So uh, let's skip ahead to that. Okay. So I stopped it at uh, several thousand results. Let's exit, exit to main. Looks like it crunched it down already. To just 2K samples. Looks like it pulled in some junk. We don't want to actually get WooCommerce. So hard to say what we'll actually get here. Looks like we got some theme stuff here. So that's that's to be expected. You, you, I've noticed with the e-commerce scrapes, you have to use a lot of either locations or keyword samples. You have to have a really big sample. But I've run um, roughly a few different scrapes so far, and I've, I've gotten down to a pretty good process. Remove entries, which are not URLs. Uh, when host is an IP. Remove URLs with extensions, okay? And then basically you take your URLs into the page scanner and then you look directly for the footprint. So under edit, you'll scroll, you'll need to click add, but you'll basically paste it into this blank area and then click add. And so uh, WooCommerce, you'll just add this string right here. Um, and go to and, and then just make sure that none of them are checked and then you can check the specific footprint that you want or footprints that you want then click close then we'll load these urls from the scrape box harvester and hopefully we'll get some it, it's not a very big sample so we might not really even get much that's relevant let's just see what happens uh wait settings make sure to put your connections to the you know quantity that you have in your proxies 15 connect timeout 30 read timeout Okay, and then start. So let's look at it for a moment. It, recently, I've been noticing script box hangs up a little bit, and then it'll just burst. So, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, well, of course, those are <laughs> those are theme uh, uh, sites. So I guess that counts. <laughs> WooCommerce product customizer reviews. Uh, we didn't exactly get. The, those aren't really toys, unless it's a toy theme, I suppose. But uh, you can see that it wor it kind of works, though, you know, just putting that string in there. Um, 
And and I've, th- th- there's there's different ways you could probably approach it, but the main thing is like I want to put that section of the of the footprint in there, and then at scale, I think that it uh, I think that it works pretty well. We hang Christmas lights, so that's a toy. Oh, I mean, sort that's not really a toy, but. Web Toffee, how to start a subscription box. No. See, it's mostly theme stuff here. But, um, oh, here we go. Toys Afar, toysafaritoys.com, timelessfindjewelry.com, theme smart plugin. How many have we done? Oh, 36%. WooCommerce. Let's go ahead and skip to the end result because I do want to do a keyword filter just for the word toy and see if, uh, well, this one, Technical Art of Science, that one has some pro- products page. And see, you know, I just, I just want to see if we can spot some toy ones explicitly. Okay. So this might have been a case where it might have been better to put toy shop. I spotted some, but actually, I mean, I haven't even barely got just looking at it manually. I was waiting for it to finish. But I but, uh, you know, with a bigger sample, it it would be much larger. Let's see. Is it frozen? Give me one second. Let me skip ahead and get this fixed. If it gives you guff, you can just abort it in task manager. Let's, so let's uh, open up that page scanner again and grab that show folder. Uh, is there not a show folder in there? Okay. It must be, you have to go to add-on sessions and then go to page scanner. And then just, I guess it's this one. Yeah. And then uh, let me clear out these URLs and drop them in here. So they, they will come with uh, uh, pipings that say WooCommerce or not. So you want to remove URLs not containing WooCommerce. Actually, before I do that, let me copy this to my clipboard. Or it, I got it here. Never mind. Okay. URLs, WooCommerce, in case I typo going too fast, WooCommerce. Okay, so those are the ones with the footprints. And then basically you can just, well, let's remove these duplicates. Uh, copy this to clipboard and remove remove all this junk. Find and replace and remove all this. Uh, or I'm sorry, before, before you do this, you want to remove uh, everything after the piping. And then copy all that to clipboard and then paste that in there remove the piping with nothing and there we go we got it cleaned up there really should be a way to do that in an automated fashion but oh well so toys afar toys.com like sometimes i'm i am really tempted with e-commerce scrapes to trim it down to the root uh to, to the domain level i saw some things though that kind of made me think i'm not sure i want to do that but uh Let's go ahead and do that. Let's trim to root and then scrub for duplicates. So it had like a hundred. Here's hobby silicone toy town. Let's check out toy town. That's, that's a pretty straightforward copy selected URL to clipboard. Let's go over here. Oh, not uh, HTTPS, but I just want to see the site. Yeah, looks like a toy shop, but it, maybe it's not live. Yeah, it looks like it, it may not be live. How many products are there? And that's that is a bit of an issue, I think. Some some sites that are kind of under construction. Let's look at the page source though, just out of curiosity, just to see if it really is. Plugins. Yeah, see WooCommerce down here. They've definitely got WooCommerce on this site. So, uh, awesome. That kind of, you know, just proves that it, it works. <laughs> um, and then I kind of want to find a, a couple other ones, toys, Trenix. Let's look at this one. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool. It's uh, some sort of dinosaur toy drawings. <laughs> or really simple toys. Not sure. Anyways, you get that it works, though. And um, I saw some other odd keywords in some of those that kind of made me think that they were like, uh, well, no, that would be a good one. There was maybe some science-y ones that might have been better. Your community shop. Um, so there, there are going to be some ones that maybe don't have the keyword, but if you want to do keyword filtering, you just go remove URLs, not containing toy. You usually don't want to spell out the full keyword. Sometimes there might be different variations. In this case, it's just going to be toys, but wow. So there's only 13, but, and then only 13 directly with toy in that sample. How many were there? Like a few hundred. So it wasn't very big. Let me grab this again. Well, now let's just leave. And then you would just go here and, and grab emails by crawl, uh, crawling sites, basically, if you had some use case for it, uh, which some of my clients have. And I just did a batch where I started with 189K URLs. It got chopped down to 65 or roughly, roughly 65K URLs that had both Shopify and WooCommerce footprints. So just two e-commerce footprints. And uh, this was for five keywords. So five keywords down to 189,000 URLs or something, then chopped down to 65K that had sh uh, Shopify and WooCommerce. And then that got chopped down to about 35K that actually had emails, which is a tremendous ratio um, uh, for that many emails across the URL sample. It's, it, it varies between niches, but that's a, that's a really good, that's a pretty good ratio. And then after that, I did email verification and it, it dropped down to about 18K completely valid emails on the sample. So pretty awesome. Um, anyways, that is basically it. You can obviously uh, do a small number of e-commerce niches uh, across a, a lot of areas with a lot of different footprints. And all of a sudden your list of, of keywords can get to like hundreds of thousands. You can do a lot of e-commerce niches uh, with a lot of areas or a decent number of top cities, you know, you, you have some flexibility and, um, you know, there's multiple like footprints that you could do, but I just wanted to show you guys what's possible with the WooCommerce footprint. So that's pretty much it guys. Please like comment and subscribe. I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.